Um, so now we will start the webinar. Uh, it's nice to have everyone here join us for this product presentation. I'm just very glad to see um, all our customers here today. Uh, I'm Bruno Albuquerque, Key Account Executive, and I'm with Fabio Piuma, which is our product manager, Fernanda, who is our product specialist, and both key account executives for Latin America and Europe, Sullivan and Epifanio. Um, I hope you enjoy this time with us and feel free to ask your questions through the chat. Uh, Fabio Piuma will explain you um, everything further. So please, uh, Piuma, it is with you. Okay, thank you, Bruno. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to this webinar. Uh, this is Fabio Piuma, uh, and I am product manager from Novus Automation. Uh, I'd like to, to thank all of you to invest your time to see our new product to be released to the market. Uh, okay, we are going to discuss how to meet demanding humidity and temperature processes with high accuracy. Also, we will see, <clears throat> sorry, uh, we will see how to, uh, how to should be, uh, how versatile we should be to meet different requirements in moisture uh, control. Uh, also, today's many processes of industry uh, requires to avoid condensing or frost because any of it will damage uh, or rot the good in process. Many of those processes, due to the nature of the product, require moisture control in very narrow tolerance, sometimes on the threshold border of temperature or humidity, in the limits of condensation or frost. Uh, the strict control of water vapor and air mixing ratio is a key factor for improved air quality for the process. So, we're going to discuss and show how to meet these requirements and, and learn about RHT climate ahead. First of all, just to put into context, this is our agenda. We'll make an overview about condensing and frost uh, and how to improve it with RHT climate. We will also talk about its highlights as a product. Then we are going to show its technical characteristics, the features. We'll talk about the configuration software for the device. Also, we'll take a look at the RHD climate with some pictures. Following, we'll talk about its applications and show some processes examples for controlling with psychometric information. We, we also have a spare to answer eventual questions made during this webinar. Anyway, we'll try to answer all questions uh, by preparing a Q&A document and leave it available to all attendants. Moreover, we have a quick survey at the end of this webinar in which we please require that you answer it because we can continuously improve our solutions. So at the end of this webinar, please do not close the window until the survey appears uh, to you. Just a reminder, anyone Anyone can make questions during this webinar. Uh, just clicking in the Go to Webinar toolbar, expanding the, the item question in the menu, and then write your question in the field. Uh, please, you are free to make the questions you need. Maybe we will not be able to answer all the questions, but all of them will be recorded and answered properly and sent to all attendants of this webinar. Well, we talked about the moisture control of environments or processes. For example, in food industry, 
the condensation can cause microbial growing and unstabilize or damage the food. In indoor climate control, the humidity affects both thermal comfort and indoor air quality, facilitating the growth of mold or bacteria, which can cause respiratory problems and condensation forming on windows, walls, and ceilings that are colder than the air temperature, potentially dam damaging building materials. Uh, in drying processes of powder products for chemical industry, for example, it provides better flow behavior and avoids formation of agglomerates. So, condensation is an undesirable effect for many processes. And if it's requirement to avoid it, the customer must have the right solution. Otherwise, it will be disaster. Freeze drying process works by freezing the material, then reducing the pressure and adding heat to all the frozen water in the material to sublimate. Frost is one undesirable problem in freeze drying processes and can cause collapse or irreversible eutectic melt or even cannot meet the required crystalline structure of the material. In, in such situations, the air moisture is frozen below its eutectic temperature. Then, frost become a big problem in some industrial uh, processes and also need to be handled. One solution is to provide measurement of high accuracy for appropriate, precise control as required to ensure air quality of the in-process material or the controlled environment air. For example, in desiccant dehumidifiers, also call, called moisture absorbers. Also, with increasing automation connectivity, it may demand for the sensing device a communication interface beyond the normal analog retransmission outputs. And some applications may need few calculated psychometric properties to monitor other aspects of the air quality. Those are tough requirements which are not easy to comply with normal air HD sensing devices. And now Novus is now releasing the right device that complies with those requirements. This is air HD climate, the humidity and temperature transmitter that provides high accuracy and stability of measurements over a wide operation range in order to implement precise air quality monitoring or psychometric control. Optionally, it has a wide backlight display which provides brightness for good reading in illuminated environments. Its analog outputs, well, typically for temperature and the other one for humidity, but not limited to those, we have also the, the psychometric properties. Those are configurable by software, including the hardware output signal, which can be 420 milliamps or 0, 010 volts. We'll see later in the technical uh, characteristics that it's possible to force certain value to the output for commissioning tests. All settings of this device can be performed via USB port through configuration software. Its frontal keyboard allows making several settings directly into it, 
by navigating through the menu screens. An additional feature is the availability of two alarm outputs, which can be used for controlling humidity and, and or temperature. The device has also an embedded buzzer, a built-in buzzer, to perform indoor sound alarm. We cannot fail to mention its distinctive design and its robustness for customer to consider it the unique choice to solve their problems. The first highlighted feature of RHT Climate is its extended range and outstanding accuracy for measurement of relative humidity and temperature. Applications with strict requirements can be met with these accuracies. The other main feature is the full psychometry information. This device provides seven psychometric properties to monitor the mixture of water vapor and air and the other related variables in the controlled environment. <clears throat> uh, the last main feature is the versatility of interface to interact with the device. It has USB port used for device configuration or commissioning. The RS-485 interface, which is optional, and it is Modbus RTU protocol, allows to integrate with customer automation systems for getting all variables at once. The analog outputs are typically used as transmission signal for PLCs or dedicated controllers and can be used as current or voltage signal. So, this feature provides the device the ability to be applied in any integration of customer's project. Now, we can go deep into its technical features. RHT Climate is a family of devices. It is often offered basically in two types, wall mount, WM, and duct mount, DM. Both typed pipes have models with display or without it. Duct mount version offers three problem, 150 millimeters, 250 millimeters, and 400 millimeters. It is also offered models with or without display for the duct mount versions. The duct mount type has a measuring range from minus 40 to 100 degrees Celsius. Wall mount type has lower range from minus 40 to 60 degrees because it keeps itself inside the controlled environment. Unlike the duct mount which only the probe is in contact with the control of the medium. The resolution for both measured variables is better than a decimal of its engineering unit. Temperature has 14 bit and 0 0.1 degree of increments. Humidity has 12 bit and 0.1% of relative humidity. The device has three frontal keys with good tactile feedback for easy configuration of parameters. The display provides a menu of parameters which can be checked and modified directly on need. It. Its wide display has backlight and may show three variables on screen which can be configured from all, all those psychometric variables. The display can present additional information like alarms, maximum and minimum values, and also communication status. The accuracy of measurement is better than 0 0.2 degrees for temperature in the range from 0 to uh, 60 degrees. 
For relative humidity, the accuracy is 1.8% in the range from 0 to 90% uh, of our relative humidity. We mentioned before the RHT climate has two analog outputs. Each one can be configured as 4 to, 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts just by software. Do not need jumper. The power supply for this device is by the internal connector and maybe have uh, uh, maybe have range from 12 to 30 volts DC. During configuration or commissioning, the device can be powered on by the USB port. So in the configuration stage, you just plug it in the USB port, uh, the device is powered and can be configured. This USB port is used for configuration, commissioning or diagnosis. The RS485 uh, interface is typically used for monitoring. The operation range for H, uh, RHT climate is from minus 40 to 60 degrees. The IP rating for the enclosure is IP65. Because, because the RHT probe must have contact with the medium, it has lower IP rating, reaching IP30. Uh, OK, the device has two alarm outputs with N-type transistor. Any alarm, any alarm can be set as low, high, inside band, or outside band. It can be configured the set point, the hysteresis, the output condition on sensor error, lower or low or high level, and the timing type. It can be pulse, delay, intermittent drive, or normal. An interesting feature for commissioning or diagnosis is the ability to simulate the input and output signals. Both temperature and humidity can be simulated or forced to certain value directly in the unit in engineering unit <clears throat> to test some alarm condition, for example. The analog output simulation allows the technician to force a value directly in the critical voltage, depending on the output settings, and to check the signal transmission to the PLC or controller. So it's a good tool for commissioning. The RHT climate is constantly calculating all those seven psychometric properties from the measured relative humidity and temperature. Those properties can be presented into display, can be transmitted to analog output, or can be read on modbus table. We have dew point temperature, wet bulb temperature, temperature, absolute humidity, frost point temperature, specific enthalpy, partial vapor pressure, and mixing ratio. Sorry. Let's take a look at this uh, device configuration. The configuration of RHT climate is an easy task. Navus offers a free Windows software available for downloading our website. It is called NXperience, uh, and it can be used either in notebooks or desktops. So, an experience is a powerful tool for the technician uh, who is going to start and to commission the device into field. All features he needs for these activities are available on the software. Uh, we have configuration of all parameters, monitoring of all psychometric data, simulation of temperature and humidity, forcing output transmission signal, and settings for the 
HMI the display. Here are some examples of an experience screens. So let's take a look at some details of RHT climate. We have here some pictures of different views and different models. The enclosure does not have screws, which means the upper cover closes by pressure on the ring ceiling and by clicking on the end limit of the box. All connections are performed in inside connector and pass through the cable gland. The USB port on the left is protected by a rubber cap. The RHT probe is integrated with the enclosure. It can be removed. The device has a spare for an additional cable gland in the middle of the box. The duct mount type has the probe coming out from the rear. The probe holds a flange for fixing into the duct. Okay, and what about application examples for a RHT climate? It can be used in HVACR applications, which is heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration systems. There are many possible use cases applied to the device. It can be used just for climate monitoring of indoor environment, like laboratories, clean rooms, or data centers. For more, most strict requirements, it can be applied to psychometric control of industrial processes. And not less important, used for comfort control, where the air moisture and temperature should be handled. Okay, he, here we'd like to show a few more practical examples of application for the RHT climate. In this first example, there is a process for drying cereal grains into garner. Uh, here, the requirement is to monitor the mixture of water vapor and dry air inside Garner. This information is used to activate hot ventilation from bottom floor to upper exhaust fan. The RHT climate fits very well to this application. If required, an output alarm can be configured to activate the hot ventilation. This second example shows the need of drying process in, for, for pasta industry. The requirement is to keep humidity in very narrow band. The air moisture should be removed to avoid condensation of the pasta. Otherwise, it can unstabilize the material or change its texture. The worst case is the pasta receives attack from microbial. The moisture should be controlled until the final bagging. The high accuracy of RHT climate is very suitable to this application. Sound alarm or output alarm can be used for controlling. The last example requires indoor thermal comfort. The main issue here is to control the temperature into limits and to remove air moisture and keep it inside the fine band. An additional requirement is to improve the air quality, which demands exchange of air to the outside. Again, RHT climate is suitable, and both output alarms can be used to control the operating bands for humidity and temperature.
Okay, now we'd like to make a little break for answers. Uh, we'll try to answer now the most common questions already sent with the webinar. Just a second. Okay, here we have one question is uh, what is the accuracy of, of the RHD climate? Uh, so the accuracy for temperature is uh, 0 0.2 degrees from the range uh, of 0 to 60 degrees. And relative humidity is 1.8% of relative humidity. The range from 0 to 90%. Okay, another question here is, how better is the new model compared to the previous? Uh, this new model has better accuracy. Uh, let's say that uh, for the temperature, it's 10, time, 10 times better. And for the relative humidity, uh, two times better. We have a question here. Another question is, what's the size of memory for the device? Uh, just uh, to say that the RHT climate is not a data logger. It, it's a transmitter, so there is no memory uh, on it, okay? Okay, another question is uh, when the alarm conditional uh, uh, condition disappears. Uh, okay, when, when in alarm condition, uh, the if you have an output designated to activate in the alarm condition, it will activate, and when the alarm condition uh, disappear, the output also go goes. Uh, normal condition, but in the display remains the indication of alarm until to be recognized. Okay. Okay, uh, we have another question is, what is the delivery time for, for this product? Uh, uh, delivery time is about uh, 15 to 20 days, okay? Okay, another question is, uh, what, what, what are the compatible protocols? Uh, today, the device has only Modbus RTU protocol. In the roadmap, we have also BACnet, but it's it's already, uh, it's in the roadmap yet. Another question here is the configuration of software free. Yes, it is free. You can download in our website.
Just one second. Okay, uh, uh, we have we have uh, many many questions. Uh, we we, will, we we cannot uh, answer all of them. Uh, let's let's do like this. Uh, we we'll, we have all the questions here. Uh, we will prepare a document uh, uh, and and then we will uh, deliver to all of you. Okay all the questions delivered to all the attendants of this webinar so you can uh, uh, have all your dots uh, answered okay so now uh, I'd like to be, before the last uh, slide I'd like to pass the word to Bruno he, he, he has a message for you hello guys um... <laughs> So it's Bruno again here. Uh, we're getting to the end of the presentation, okay? Um, so I'd like to tell you that we'll be offering a promotional release price for the same, uh, for the first batch, okay, for the first orders, uh, like we did with the Bluetooth, with the Logbox BLE. So please get in touch with your uh, respective account executives, so, uh, the guys from Europe, We'll talk to Sullivan. The guys on on Africa will talk to me. Um, so get in touch with us to find out about the prices and lead time. Okay, we'll have the the we'll have the information for you. Please also make sure you wait to answer the survey to get the promotional condition for your first order because we'll we'll look at the at the customers that answered the the the, the survey and then we'll be able to offer the promotional price. Uh, we'll also uh, make sure all your questions are answered on an individual basis after the webinar, okay? And also we'll release a Q&A note where all the questions are shared with everyone and it will also be available on our website, okay? We expect to have it ready probably in a couple of days. Um, once again, thank you very much for your time with us, and I'll, I'll pass it on to Puma again. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Bruno. So, uh, uh, just uh, the last slide. Uh, I would like to uh, thank you all of, all of who attended the, uh, this webinar, uh, and I would like to say that please take a look at our website. All information regarding RHD climate is, is already available there. You, you can check the commercial flyer, the, the product manual, uh, some, some technical details. And so you can contact your key account executive for quoting orders or, or, or uh, informations. Uh, and again, please don't forget to answer the survey about the webinar to be presented at the end of the session. Uh, please, please don't close the window yet until the survey appears to you. Uh, so thanks again. I, I hope to hear soon from you. Uh, goodbye.